Ken Allison with IDI. We'd like to welcome you to a new project that we're doing. This house that we're about to look at, you're going to see a lot of things that will take this house from just being a standard build to a higher end custom home that is net zero ready. I'd like to talk about some of the common things that we see in these houses as we go and look around for opportunities for air sealing, chances to make the house perform better and get the envelope under control. So with that, I'd like to talk about this gap right here. This right here, when you've got any set of studs coming together, cripple studs, king studs, things like that, where we have gaps like this, you'll notice up here, I can see daylight right through the gap on this. Now there's nails going through it already, and in a lot of cases that gap may be even an inch, inch and a half, but those nails will prevent us from effectively insulating that area. We're gonna see things that some of us like to call mouse holes or large areas. In this case, we had one big enough to be what we'd call a rat's nest. But as we look up towards the top of this wall, you're gonna notice that area too. Here you can see we took the mouse hole up here at the top where we've got the two walls intersecting and right here we filled that. We also filled the very large gap. We'll call that a rat's nest. And then on down where the two walls meet where we had daylight before. So as you can see now, we've taken this area of opportunity, we've air sealed it, and that'll allow us to fill this with insulation. Now this whole ceiling is going to get filled with fiberglass insulation. But what I want you to see actually is right here. Let me take one step down on the ladder. And as you look at this area right here, this will have fabric going across the entire ceiling. Now when we go to fill this, this I would call another area of opportunity because most contractors will not be able to remember to get this back here once the netting is on. All of this area needs to be filled completely with the fiberglass. So everything behind this truss as we go all the way down this wall section, you'll be able to see where this needs to be filled back inside here. That's gonna take some attention to detail, but again, we have to do all of the air sealing first or we're just not going to be able to get it. And then when we run our blower door test at the end after all the insulation's in, we're gonna wonder where all the holes are or the gaps that are creating the airflow in this home. As we look down this beam, as we go down it, the issue is you're gonna realize that this entire area has the same, and this is a lot of area when we consider how it affects the energy package and the comfort level of this home. So as we go down this, again, the fabric's going to be laying across here, all the way across this ceiling. We have to be able to ensure that all of that gets filled. Also, as you look down at this other corner, we have another mouse hole or opportunity that we need to take care of and fill that gap. The garage is another big area of opportunity. When we look at the garage, what we're looking at is an area that's open to the outside. We have two big doors that are gonna be open to the outside. We're gonna have that energy flow coming in here. So as we look up at the top of the garage, you take a look up here where you can see daylight. That's an area where we're actually going to have a knee wall, but up above me is a bedroom. We really need to take care of this. For one, nobody wants to just be freezing in their bedroom for some obvious reasons. But actually, when we look at this, we've got to go up there and air seal that to ensure that we don't have that flow coming through. So we'll not only have continuous on it, but then we're going to fill the backside with fiberglass as well. We want to make sure we do that all over the garage. Another reason why air sealing the garage is one of the most important places on the entire home is also what we're going to have coming in and out of here. Cars, vehicles. We're going to be making carbon monoxide in this room. Our goal is to ensure that none of these walls have any communication with the rest of the house because we don't want that carbon monoxide coming into the house. 